So this is the Infinix Concept Phone for 2021, and you might not have heard of this brand, but it's created the fastest charging phone that I've ever used. It comes with this decidedly chunky charging brick, which, if you're not catching the subtle hint here, outputs at up to 160 watts. In practice, that means refilling a 4000 mAh battery in just over 10 minutes. We'll put that to the test later, but first let's see what you get with the rest of this phone. Around the front there's a waterfall OLED display at 1080p, kinda reminds me a little bit of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. You've got a pretty wide angle on this edge screen area here, in fact it's very close to being a full right angle at 88 degrees. On the inside it's a run of the mill mid range Android spec sheet with a MediaTek chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, plus that 4000mAh battery. And the software is Infinix's XOS, which is based around Android 11, and looks a little bit like a head-on collision between Oppo's ColorOS and Xiaomi's MIUI. But don't be fooled by the spec sheet alone, because there's a lot of neat higher-end tech to be found elsewhere in this device. Along with a triple camera array boasting a 64 megapixel main plus 5 times periscope zoom, the back panel also houses Infinix's colour-changing battery door, which is the other unique thing about this phone. When it's charging, the back pulse is green, and in the final version of this phone, the outside area will be able to pulse blue as well when you're receiving a call. And the tech behind this is a bit more involved than just sticking some LEDs behind the back panel. It uses a solid electrochromic film combined with an electroluminescent film, which is more battery efficient than just your standard LED. And the fact that you can do this with minimal battery draw behind what's otherwise a pretty regular frosted glass back panel opens up some pretty interesting possibilities for future phone designs. Charging is where this phone really shows its technical prowess though. The bundled charging brick uses gallium nitride technology for extra efficiency, which you might have seen in higher end third party chargers for other phones. Meanwhile the battery itself uses an 8C cell, which once again is more efficient than the 6C cells used in most phone batteries, which once again results in less heat overall. So when your maximum output is a whopping 160 watts, Infinix claims you can go from completely dead to 100% in just 10 minutes. So we put this to the test, drained the battery completely, then plugged in that big honking charging brick. And the results were pretty impressive. After a couple of minutes we were up to 23%, a minute and a half later 38%, by 6 minutes in we were just past the halfway mark at 55%, and by 9 minutes we were hitting more than 76% charged. After 12 and a half minutes the phone was indeed fully charged, which is a little over the quoted 10 minute time, but bear in mind this is a prototype running very early firmware, and that is still crazy fast. Either way, this phone shows where we'll be in terms of the future of fast charging in phones, the kind of speed that means a full refill in less time than it takes to take a shower or make your lunch. For context, the power brick of my MacBook Pro is 65 watts, and if you go past 30, that's considered pretty fast for charging a phone. What we're looking at here with 160 watts is an order of magnitude quicker than anything in the market right now. I also didn't notice the phone getting particularly hot during charging, which you might well expect given that it is sucking down so much power. Both the charger and the phone were warmer than when they're idling, but there was nothing to suggest it was getting anywhere near dangerously hot. Infinix says it's designed to keep everything at a relatively cool 40 degrees Celsius, and there are 20 temperature sensors and 60 security mechanisms to avoid overheating or worse. So there clearly are some trade-offs, the charger is pretty gigantic about the size of a small laptop brick, and in order to hit those insanely fast charging speeds, there are balancing factors on the other side like battery capacity which always has to be that much lower in phones with super fast charging. Nevertheless, the fact that this is even possible now in a phone that I can use and refill in less time than it takes for my coffee to cool down, really does bode well for the future of super fast phone charging. Infinix says all the technology shown off in this concept phone will eventually be developed and used elsewhere in its range. Unfortunately, this particular phone won't be going on sale anywhere as it currently is. But what do you think? Do you want charging speeds that can get your phone out of the danger zone almost instantly, or is this just more technological gimmickry? Let us know what you think down in the comments and subscribe to Android Central right here so you don't miss more hands-on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.